Hi everybody, welcome to Nerdx channel. Today is the last day of the year and I will create a new video explaining how to use an RFID reader like this one. Let's get focus. Okay. To read RFID cards or RFID tags. So let's get started. Open the Linux terminal. Enter inside Nerex space, Nerex. Execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. <coughs> Execute tools configure.sa stm32f103 minimum slash nsh now execute make menu config to select the rfid reader make menu config enter inside system type stm32 peripheral support and enable SPI 1. Exit, exit again. Enter inside device drivers. Move down until contactless device support. Select it. NXP MFRC 522, my first transceiver. We can exit, exit again. Now go to application configuration, examples, and RFID reader UID example. We can exit, exit again, and finally exit and save. Now just execute make to compile the source code. Okay, the first code was compiled. Now we can execute OpenOCD. If you don't know how to do that, please watch this video explain. Press enter. Okay, was flashed correctly. Now I will explain how to connect the RFID reader in the board. Okay, first we need to connect the 3.3 volts to 3.3 pin here. Okay. Next, we need to, to connect the GND here. We don't need to connect the reset pin. To G pin here. Let's get focus. Okay. to G pin. Next, we connect the middle. We don't, don't need to connect the interruption pin, the IR key, IR key pin. We connect the MISO to A6. Let's get focus. Okay. To A6 here. Next, we connect the MOSE to 
it's a little bit hard to see it, but it's here. We connect the mouse to A7. To pin A7 here. Next, we need to connect the serial clock, the S clock, to A5. Here, A5. And finally, we need to connect the chip select. We need to know the pin is not right chip select the CS, but SDA, like serial of data. So, the SDA is the chip select. We need to connect the chip select to pin A4. Let's get Fox here. A4. Okay, the RFID module is connected to the board and the USB serial adapter is connected in the board. Now we can execute Minicom to get access to the terminal. Let's reset the board. Let's see if the device driver for the RFID header was created. LS slash dev okay it is here let's see if the application to hear the card UID is here okay it's also here so we just need to execute it FID read UID and and we need to put the card near the header and let's press enter Okay, it it hid the card correctly. So basically that is it. I hope you had enjoyed this video. I wish you all the best in the new year. And I hope you stay with me in the new year watching my videos. And also please subscribe to my channel. And see you. Bye bye.